All right, hello everyone. It is Mr. Sunshine, Rolls Royce Technician Eddie, with a special treat for everybody that's involved with Rolls Royce. Uh, what we have, we just got in, is a rare height control. Uh, Rolls Royce always uh, tried their new items and their new parts on the latest model cars, and uh, they, they mainly started with the Corniche and then worked in from the 80s, worked into the Silver Spirit, Silver Spur. Uh, what we have here is one of the first height controllers that didn't work out too well for Rolls-Royce. They weren't satisfied with it, so um, it only was there used briefly before they changed it over. But a lot of the cars uh, that w were, were built used this. So we're going to take a look at what we have here as far as the height control of one of the first ones from a Corniche. And uh, we're going to take a look at what we have here. This just came in today, so we're going to get the opportunity to check it out. This, I do believe, was used on the uh, mineral oil. This was a mineral oil uh, height control that uh, didn't work out. Here it is. Rolls-Royce Girling Rear Height Control. There it is right here. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. Look at this, leaking all over the place. What a mess. And we can see we got problems here. All right, so what we have, this is made by Girling. They also did the uh, master cylinders on the older cars of Rolls-Royce, the Silver Cloud, stuff like that. All right, so we have three lines coming in. Uh, this is the arm that controls it. You can see how that moves. It's only going to move one way it actually hooks up like that and it's spring loaded this is a girling 705 21143 all uh, right uh and this is uh what is this got stamped 156 on there three lines go in here this is the bolt that holds it onto the frame and then all we have here is two four six eight nine nine screws that hold the cover on it looks like they they sealed the cover up with something here uh here's the 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 uh they somebody etched the number in it's probably for the particular automobile that was in so the only access is through this cover right here so we're going to do a video on that removing these bolts to open this up to take a look at what's inside again these are extremely rare um I, this is the first one that i've seen I've seen them, um, you don't even see too much information on Google. Uh, a flying Spares sells rebuilt ones, but they're limited supplies because they didn't use them very long because they, they went over to a round uh, height controller, which they used in the Silver Spirits and the Silver Spurs from the 80 on up using mineral oil. So there it is. We're going to get a dual video. We're going to dissect that. We're going to take a look inside. And we're going to see what's causing all of this inside that Rolls-Royce height controller. Girling 7052-1143. Uh, this, this works fine, but uh, we'll take a look at what's inside. And uh, we'll de 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 determine what seals inside, what O-rings, stuff like that. Uh, that are work that's going to need replaced inside there. Um, that's going to be compatible with the mineral oil on a Rolls-Royce.